Man, oh man, it's that time of the year again where we might have a Nintendo Direct. <laughs> that, um, that rumors have been floating around from a guy who uh, claims to have information that we are getting a Nintendo Direct possibly on the 13th of February, maybe the 14th. This guy has gotten a ton of information correct in the past when it comes to leaks. So it is worth looking at, and even if we don't get a Nintendo Direct, I thought it might be fun to kind of talk about it, you know, put some predictions out there, some bold predictions, and uh, yeah, this is just kind of sort of a brief discussion kind of video, um, totally unscripted, uh, unlike some of the other videos that I'm working on. I am working on scripted content too, so, you know, this is kind of a, sort of an in-between kind of deal. Yeah, you get the idea. You, you get the picture. So, let's hop right into it, I guess. We'll hop into uh, talking about the games, you know, the, the important part of the Nintendo Direct. First off, I think that we are going to get a better look at Luigi's Mansion 3. I think we're going to get some more gameplay. I think we're going to get kind of a general idea on, uh, you know, what the game's all about, what's going on, like the story, that kind of, that kind of... Thing. We'll get an idea of whether it's uh, closer to Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon or Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. Um, here's hoping it's a little closer to the one on the GameCube. I kind of prefer the spooky atmosphere in that one versus the more cartoony aesthetic in uh, the second game. Unfortunately, it does seem like it's going to be closer to Dark Moon based on that reveal trailer, but... Uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll have to wait and see. We might get a release date. I wouldn't count on it. I would expect maybe a release date at E3 this year. I think we're going to get a time frame of fall. I think it's going to come out in the fall. I think that's the perfect time for it, especially right around Halloween. Um, that just seems like the perfect time frame for that game. Animal Crossing. I think we're going to get a better look at Animal Crossing. We're going to get a name for the game. We'll probably get some features revealed. We'll, you know, kind of get an idea of what this game game's all about. You know, the last game you were sort of the mayor of your own town, this game. I'm thinking that it's going to have a bigger emphasis on the online component. I think that there's going to be a strong sense of community. You're going to have to build some communities, you know, some, get some, uh, a strong sense of community. Words are good. But I do not think they're going to give away too much at this Direct. I think it, um, this is a perfect summer title and, uh, well, kind of like a late summer title at that. And I think that E3 would be the perfect time to do, you know, a big sort of blowout for Animal Crossing. Uh, I'm going to be saying that a lot about a lot of these games, I'm thinking. But it is very possible that we will get a release date for Animal Crossing. That is a very strong possibility. Fire Emblem Three Houses. We will get a big story trailer blowout and a release date since I believe that it's set for spring right now so we are definitely getting a release date on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Damon X Machina release date and trailer. I fully expect uh, a trailer and maybe a closer look at the game. I don't believe that there's a whole lot of hype surrounding it right now so it's uh, it's definitely something that I think Nintendo would it would make sense for them to try to hype it up a little bit more. Yoshi maybe Yoshi releases in a couple of weeks actually. I believe that it launches sometime in March. So it's possible that we will see something from Yoshi at this direct. I don't necessarily expect it though. If we do get anything, it's going to be the, you know, the last trailer. It'll probably be very brief. They'll probably just kind of quick mention, hey, Yoshi's releasing in March. And that'll probably be all the more we see out of Yoshi. I do not think we will see Pokemon just yet. I think it's just a little bit too early, and Game Freak tends to like to do their own presentations to reveal new Pokemon games. So I don't think that we're going to see Pokemon at this Nintendo Direct. I don't think we're that far off from a reveal, though, because it's likely going to release in November, just like you know, a lot of the Pokemon games have in the past couple of years. Um, so we might get a full reveal in like March or April or even May, possibly May at the latest. I think that we're going to get something soon though. It sort of goes without saying we are not going to see Metroid Prime 4. That is going to be a long ways off before we get anything on that, that bad boy. But I do fully expect a Metroid Prime Trilogy announcement and potential release date as well. Rumors have been floating around that that's actually finished. So it's very well possible that we could be getting the Metroid Prime Trilogy very soon, possibly within the next two or three months even. It's 
It's very possible, I don't know, stranger things have happened. Wii U ports! I think we are going to see a ton of Wii U ports um, over the next couple of years. Haha, <laughs> uh, caught myself there, I almost said this direct. Uh, no, definitely not this direct. We might get, like, one, possibly two, uh, Wii U ports announced at this direct. I'm only expecting about, like, one. <laughs> um, uh, which, whichever one that is, though, I don't know, that's kind of up in the air. Um, I'm kind of going between, like, Mario 3D World, Wonderful 101, and I... Honestly, I would put money down on Pikmin 3. Nintendo has been teasing Pikmin 4 for, like, years now. So, honestly, like, getting Pikmin th getting Pikmin 3 on the Switch, you know, because it, it probably didn't sell very well on Wii U, that'd be a great way to sort of drum up some excitement about the Pikmin franchise again. Uh, or just in general, I, I honestly don't know if Pikmin is that popular of a franchise for Nintendo. I honestly, I just, I do not know. But that said, I would pick up Pikmin 3 on Switch. Now, I have it on Wii U and I barely touched it, but I would be interested in giving that game a go. Once again, here's hoping it gets onto the Switch. Some third-party announcements. I think we are going to get a release date for the Final Fantasy ports. I don't know if they were going to be, like, uh, if they were going to come in a, a, uh, a bundle, or if um, they're all releasing separately, if there's going to be a physical copy, if they're all digital, I don't know. I think we're going to get some information on that, though, and, uh, you know, they're going to provide some clarity on that whole situa uh, <laughs> situation. situation surrounding the Final Fantasy ports. I think that we could potentially see a Kingdom Hearts announcement for Switch. Not necessarily Kingdom Hearts 3, but, um... You know, the original Kingdom Hearts games. The the guy, I believe it's the director of uh, the Kingdom Hearts games, suggested that Kingdom Hearts may be on its way to Switch. So, it's very well possible we could get an announcement for that here. And of course, it wouldn't be a year of Nintendo without having something Mario. Whatever that thing is, is completely beyond me. Um, it could honestly be anything. A new Mario Kart, a new Mario sports game, a new 2D Mario, Mario Maker, it's... it's... who knows? It could really be anything. Um, I, I kind of don't expect a port of 3D World just yet because they did just port New Super Mario Bros. U to the Switch. I think 3D World will come to the Switch at some point, maybe next year, um, so they can kind of pad out their sort of port schedule, you know? Um, but yeah, I definitely don't expect 3D World anytime soon. I do expect maybe, like, maybe Mario Kart or a Mario Sports game. Regardless, we're definitely getting something Mario this year, so... Yeah, just, just, w w keep an eye out, uh, I'm telling you. Smash Brothers DLC, we will get a gameplay reveal for Joker and a release date. Um, he's gonna look super cool, he's gonna be a super fun character, and, uh, that's it. <laughs> there will be nothing more on Smash DLC at this time. I think that, um, it's very well possible that they're going to save, you know, possibly like one or two announcements for E3, but I, I don't really expect any more announcements anytime soon. Joker was in pretty early development whenever they announced him at the Game Awards, so it, it would be kind of, it almost feels like it would be too soon for another Smash character announcement. Um, that said, like I said, you know, a gameplay reveal and a release date for Joker, I think, is a pretty safe bet. Nintendo will reveal changes to the online service, including new features like uh, messaging, um, SNES games, and that they will continue to provide support and update the service as the years continue. I think it's very well possible that we could get, like, a, uh, you know, some more... Yeah, some more requested features like messaging. I don't know if we'll get party chats, at least not just yet. I think that's something that uh, they could put on there. Um, I don't think that Nintendo will be the ones to do it, though, because there's also been rumors floating around that Xbox Live will be coming to Switch, and I think that the Xbox Live service will probably cover a lot of the bases that Nintendo for some reason just won't. I think we're just gonna get an announcement for Xbox Live though. I don't think they're gonna go into any more detail just yet because there's an event coming up. I don't exactly know what it was um, off the top of my head, but that's where these details came from. It was leaked from that. It was put on their uh, schedule, but they took it off 
Uh, so obviously that was something they did not want um, leaked just yet. They weren't ready to talk about it. They don't really want people knowing about it, but you know, everybody knows about it now. But yeah, that, so that's a thing. And to top it all off, I think they will end off this direct with a brand new unannounced title from Retro Studios. It's gonna be Donkey Kong World. It's gonna be the biggest, most epic Donkey Kong adventure ever. Uh, just a teaser. Just, just a teaser trailer. We will get a full reveal at E3 and a release date of November this year, maybe December, something like that. Well, regardless of what is announced, I expect a dump truck of info. <laughs> our last Nintendo, our last general Nintendo Direct uh, was last September. So they've kept us waiting for quite a while. This is actually the longest time yet that we have gone uh, without any kind of Nintendo Direct. We did have like a Smash Direct, but that's not really the same thing. I, and you know, I do suspect that they will make it worth our while. So I think that's about all I have to say. If you guys have any other ideas or and, uh, if there's anything I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it. I'm making more content, uh, so, you know, we're gonna have some cool stuff on the way. Uh, I hope you guys stick around for that. I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, this is your old pal Uncle Al, and I'm signing out.